Hello all, my name is Dinesh Chaturi. So today I'll discuss one of the important questions asked in data science interview. So interviewer will give you this data set and will tell you, so let's assume you have plot this kind of a data set from the given data set, which is non-linear separable data and will ask you, can you separate red points from the green points using logistic regression? So now please pause the video. If you know the answer, please write it in the comment box. The answer is yes. Of course, yes, we can separate this kind of a data set nature. And how? Let me show you. So one of the important part in the data science is feature engineering, right? Feature engineering or oftenly we will call this feature transformation feature transformation right so by doing feature transformation into some other features we can achieve this task so let me show you geometrically so let's assume this is my f1 and f2 space we have to make another space f1 dash and f2 dash so what what is its meaning we are converting our feature into some other features by doing some calculation by doing some applying some functions or transformations so what are the transformations we will make so let's assume now my new feature f1 dash will become f1 square and f2 dash will become f2 square what is the meaning of this transformation so by doing this i am telling that i will convert all the data points like this i'll square all my data points i'll square all my data points okay so now if you plot the graph if you will plot the graph by the new f1 and f2 dash new features right so you will be able to see that all your data points will lie over here your green points will lie over here right so so let's assume this is your negative point so in the previous graph this is your negative point so you can see this is your negative point this is your negative point and the negative into negative or you are squaring the negative term it will become positive automatically okay and if i talk about red points again negative into negative will become positive because you, because you are doing the square on you and you are doing the transformation of the previous features or its data point so now my red points will come or lie over here right all my data points will lie over here so now in this space of f1 dash and f2 dash you will say that okay yes now i think it is linearly separable from uh, like green data and the red data points are linearly separable so you can now draw a straight line or a plane pi plane pi right and you can apply logistic regression so now let's so now let's discuss about some different type of transformation features uh, which generally people use while solving a machine learning problem or a data science problem so there is one transformation polynomial feature polynomial features so now you can see over here that we have done the square terms over here so basically we are increasing the polynomial terms right f1 square maybe f2 square people can use f cube depending on the situation people can multiply two features three features and so on uh, but people multiply f1 square f1 so these kind of a transformation people generally use now the second type is trigonometric approach trigonometric approach where people use generally like sinusoidal functions right sine of f1 feature maybe cos of f2 feature and so on right where where your feature looks like this okay like your green points are over here and your red points are over here then again your green points are over here then to to transform those kind of a feature people generally use sine cos these kind of a functions now the third third is boolean feature where people use or, or, and etc. Right. So, and there is again uh, the fourth is logarithmic scale. Uh, obviously, you can use logarithmic 
like you can log you can use log of feature one where we have we are currently we are using this you can use log of feature one feature two and so on right so all these are transformation feature transformation techniques you can generally use these kind of a things so i hope uh, you like the video if you really like the video please do subscribe my channel thank you